Hello friends, so in my today's video on Learn Harmonica, I am going to discuss an important concept which is applicable in almost all the fields of music, that is how to take murki. So uh, before we uh, see how to take murki in harmonica, first let us see a brief description about murki. So murki is basically a touch note which is used for the beautification or ornamentation of any song. So whether you are a singer or you are going to play any instrument, so murki will make that presentation, that singing more beautiful. So basically murki is a touch note at which we stay for a very very small time. So uh, uh, we are playing our main note and at the same time we touch some adjacent note in order to make the song more beautiful. So in case of harmonica, similarly we take the murki. In harmonica there are basically two methods of taking murki. The common method is with the help of the slider. So by just pressing the slider for a very small duration, we take the murki. So that is the reason that some players they reverse the slider because by reversing the slider, the murki effect is very beautiful. The other method is without the use of slider, but we just touch the adjacent note, the note that we are playing, the main note, we just touch the adjacent note for a very small period of time and then again we come to our main note. So the duration for which we touch the other note, it is it should be very very small. So I am going to discuss a very simple exercise today on harmonica. By practicing this exercise on harmonica, you will be able to play the murki. So, uh, this is a very simple exercise. So starting with the C note. So one thing you can notice that this is the murki part. Main note is C and then within the same duration you play these three notes C E C. Means C is your main note. Then you move to E and then again move to C. But this C E C which is the murki part it should be very very small. So you can observe one thing that both C and E they are the blow notes. So whenever you are going to take a murki on harmonica, so if your main note is a blow note, then the note which are uh, which you are going to use for taking murki it will also be a blow note. And secondly, if the main note is a draw note, like in this case D, so the murki note that is F touch note that should also be a draw note. So before you start practicing this whole exercise, you have to start at a very slow speed. When you are able to play these touch notes very clearly, only then you can gradually increase your speed. And this murki or the touch note, it must be play, played at a very high speed. So I am going to play this exercise at very small low speed initially and then I will play it at a high speed. So this is how this exercise can be played starting with the C note. see I have played it at a very slow speed. Now uh, let me play at a uh, slightly faster speed. So gradually you have to increase your speed but initially you have to practice it at a very small speed because if at the start you uh, try to play this at a very high speed 
then the notes will not be very clear. Now, how to take this multi? So there are three methods. Suppose you want to play this C E C part. So the very first thing is the first method to play is that you move your harmonica by keeping your head still. You move your harmonica. Second method is you keep your harmonica still and you move your head. But the optimum method is that there must be slight movement of both head and harmonica. But again, this is not a hard and fast rule. Uh, it, it depends upon the harmonica player. Whatever the met method suits you, you can choose that method. So be careful that whenever you are going to play any song, first try to play that song without taking the murki. You have to find all the correct notes of the song. Then you master it without any ornamentation or any murki. Once you have mastered that song, you have found the correct notes. Only then you add the ornamentation part. So I hope this lecture might be very helpful to you. So I will be there with similar type of lectures in future also. Thank you for now.